back with more Fear the Walking Dead. Um, the last episode left me very, very, very excited to see what's going to happen next. So, let's just get into it. Oh, I now should have eaten the void in this. Working on this beast of burden in the sun, oh. in the salt air. I Crew love steak. Tell me that my New York strips were the only thing that got them through the day. That was a mistake. <laughs> Killer. Connor's pretty serious about his procedures. Oh my god, Connor this, Connor that. You won't get caught. Alicia, do you trust me? No, you're weird. <laughs> oh, oh no, you don't want Daniel doing this kind of stuff, do you? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh, Daniel. Oh, you will be. I'm loving Daniel more and more. I've known men who inspire fear. Do you know what they have in common? They never say how frightening they are. <laughs> Bitch. Chris. You just got owned. Do not engage. No wandering off. Okay. Uh -huh. I imagine he'll talk to him and wander off. He required That's attention. What, Chris does what does that best. mean? <gasps> oh no. We were floating. And I squeeze. And then I push him out of the raft. I what you had to do. I did what you made me do. But I asked for you. Oh, my. Well, that explains a lot. Do not come between me and my son. Oh, my. That seems to go always so good. Good one. Did you know? Tell me. Oh, boy. Be a small window, but it'll be enough. Oh, I hope he doesn't betray her. I feel like he might. There's five bolts. You have no skin in this. Neither do you. Well, if it were my daughter, I. But it's not. Maybe they're both starting to care about them all. It's not enough for the front door. Can be more. More we've become, can we? I don't know. Wait. What happens to you? Connor said he could use me. Don't use me. I want her to join the group. But I don't think that's gonna happen now. <laughs> what did Daniel say, Chris? You know you're screwed, right? <laughs> they will put you down like you're a stray. <laughs> I hope someone puts you down like you're a stray. <laughs> I pulled the trigger, my dad and Alicia on the boat. We're off to Mexico already. What, you gonna shoot a pregnant woman? Come on, man. I wouldn't shoot a pregnant woman. This isn't on you. Yeah, I wouldn't say I it's not much of his fault. I want to make up for it. Okay. And I don't even but like him. Don't and I don't think it's his fault. Your head, all right? Dad, out of here. No. Aww. Sad. Will never forgive me. Don't kill forgive Travis. Me. Now, promise me, okay? If it comes down to it, you just go, okay? Just go. Oh, they're becoming a family. Oh. Oh. Over. Reed, you're pissing me off. Drop anchor, shut it down. Over. Okay. I'll go. I'll go. 
I'll bring him. <laughs> One hour. God's sake. He's not a child anymore, Madison. I'll go, Mom. Although that was very well negotiated. Oh, God. Oh, no. Chris? Chris? Hey. What, what did they do? He's killed him, I swear. He was gonna turn. Something tells me he was not gonna turn. Yes, Duel. He was sick. How did you know? He was gonna turn. He sneezed one time. So I shot him in the face. I knew that. It's a very interesting um idea to go with his character. For God's sake, Chris. <laughs> Fucked up the plan. Okay. Did I just screw everything up? Yep. Were they gonna trade him right there? But you know, that's your MO. We'll figure it out. Oh, this is very sweet. <laughs> Thank you. That's over now. Even if he is going a bit <laughs> Not yet. What are you Not thinking, yet. Daniel? I mean, it's quite a clever plan. I'm gonna pretend he's alive, just with a bag over his head. If only he wasn't going... You can stay in the cage for now. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank no, you can. Jesus, Travis. Oh my. I they didn't bring guns. They'd have been screwed. Are you just gonna leave? Yeah, bye. I actually feel kind of bad for him, you know? I think he did kind of mean well. Oh, he looks really sad. Oh well, never mind. Should get over it. It must be love. But it's over now! Okay, that was a pretty good episode. Um, it was quite slow. I think it only really picked up near the end. Um, it is, I would probably say it's my least favourite of the season so far. But I still enjoyed it. Um, I like the whole kind of thing with Madison not really accepting that her kids are growing up because they need to in this apocalyptic world. And hopefully that'll be something that she'll have to just learn to accept and deal with and that'll allow Nick and Alicia to do a lot more badass things. Um, you know what, I'm going to throw Chris a bone and say he wasn't that bad in this episode. He did fuck up the plan. Um, and he did just kill the guy and made up an excuse. Which is kind of not great. But I think it's an interesting direction for his character to go in. Um, I'm interested in what they're going to do with that and see if they're going to make him get a bit obsessed with the killing. Um, so I'm glad they are doing something with him. You know, at least they're trying something. Whereas Ophelia is just not getting anything to do, which still sucks. I'm loving Daniel more and more. Um, I love that he just is always thinking, he's always analysing. He was always trying to think of the next step. I really like that about him. Um, obviously Nick's amazing. Alicia was pretty bad in this episode as well. I do kind of feel bad about that guy. Um, but you know, we'll move past it. Um, but I did like how like the last 10 minutes of the episode turned out. It was pretty cool. Um, I like the kind of family unit. They're definitely starting to, you know, form. You know, Travis putting Alicia's needs above his own was really nice. And saying, if you can get out, then just go and leave me. That was cool. Um, and that scene where um, Madison was kind of, you know, comforting Chris about what he'd done. 
you know, considering how Chris used to be in Madison, that's quite a big step forward. So I liked that a lot. Um, I do like how all the adults kind of work with each other. That's always interesting to me, especially Strand and Madison. Their scene together was really cool. That was a really cool twist seeing Annex again, and that was that was how they kind of got as much information about them all as they did. I liked that a lot. That was cool. Um, she did kind of just seemed to disappear in the episode. And I feel like they're kind of done with that storyline now. Because most of them are dead, so... So it was a bit weird that they brought her back just to then not really utilise her. But, you know, it was still nice to see her. It made sense that that was how they knew so much about that group. As well as what Alicia was, you know, telling them over the radio thing. I don't know why I went, you know what radio sounds like. Um, it doesn't sound like, that was rubbish. But yeah, overall, pretty good episode. Um, it was very slow, but we had some pretty cool moments in it. And yeah, we're slowly getting there through the season. Very, very slowly. Um, I believe it's going to be episode 7, I think, was like the mid-season finale. So we're only two away from that. So, you know, we're getting there. Uh, but yeah, pretty good episode. I enjoyed it. And I look forward to seeing what is going to happen next with all these characters. It should be quite interesting. I hope they um, get back to... Oh, what was his name? Well, Strand's boyfriend. I'm guessing it's his boyfriend. Um, I hope they get back to him soon. Uh, and we'll see how that all plays out. But yeah, thanks for watching.